Hello YouTube. I'm back on my stoop and uh, had an exciting week in Cape Town for meetings. Uh, very productive, I must say. And uh, I'm a happy man because after my long search which I re uh, reported uh, throughout on my videos um, in terms of local tobacconists and shops and uh, blending and what you know what tobaccos are available um, my last report was actually a, a little bit of a disappointing report which I also wrote a blog about um, because after a few months of of uh, trying local blends uh, and then getting some some international blends like Daniel and GLPs and so I was I was disappointed disappointed to the quality of South African tobacco of South African tobacco tobacconists and blends in general um, until this week and I and I I kind of I remember how good this guy was but I forgot um, because it was kind of long ago than I uh, when I was there so returning to Cape Town my first mission was to go there and to try his blends I've tried his blends in the past but uh, this time with a new mission and that's why I'm saying I'm a happy man because at least I have found a real tobacconist again and I can reveal his name I hope it's not a against the YouTube policy I will put his name in the link but it's a tobacconist on the Green Market Square in Cape Town and um, I enjoyed my visit there we chat, uh, chatted a long you know a long time about all kinds of blends and tobaccos and um, he gave me a, a bowl full of, of uh, Cornell and Deal Black Frigate um, And it's, I also bought myself a hemp wick uh, covered in beeswax, which is also an, a nice way of lighting my pipe. But most of all, and that is what this video is all about, is I bought two tobaccos from him. Uh, I, I, asked, uh, I asked the uh, tobacconist, I want, uh, I want to try out your English slash Balkan slash stronger tobaccos so we went through a range that he's got there and, and uh, very knowledgeable uh, in contrast to some others the sales lady told me no you wouldn't like this no you, if you want that no you so we eliminated the um, the aromatics and the ones that that are too uh, not not you know not in my in my uh, in my liking possible so I bought there two blends of his own blends. One is a Balkan blend called the Balkan blend and one is the FB special blend which is what I'm smoking now in my Bari Viking. So I bought myself enough stock for a while. On the nose on the nose there's a clear there's a clear fruity sweetness which is very nice not much um, Latakia coming through but definitely a fruitiness um, maybe even a little bit apple and uh, yeah uh, a, a little bit of sweetness that comes through so on the first light um, 
that was the first thing that I that I picked up was was the sweet a uh, sweet character. So maybe not typically, um, you know, full English kind of blend, but but very nice, uh, perfect strength for me. And the fruitiness comes through in, in your, uh, on your palate, but definitely that, that sweetiness. Um, and it's not an overwhelming sweetiness, it's just, it's just that, you know, that, that little bit of sweet, sweetness that comes through from the Virginia probably. But a very nice... Um, a very nice English tobacco uh, smell together with a with a with a sweetness. So, you know, when you when you when you taste it, you get that sweetness on your tongue, and then on on another part you get this. I don't know uh, what to call it, but uh, you know, a real just a plain tobacco uh, tobacco flavor. So the sweetness is there, the notes of the fruitiness that, you, that come through. Um, yeah. Let me try again uh, just now. But at uh, in any case, uh, he calls it the FB special, um, and r r it's a, it's a very very nice tobacco, I must say. Uh, and I will post his link and his name and all his detail on uh, uh, on my website, uh, not to infringe with uh, YouTube um, policies of monetization policies, but really uh, really really nice. Um, and the nice thing about it is that at least they knew what they were selling you, and they knew, you know, what um, what what is an English blend and what is a Balkan blend. So yeah, I I did enjoy enjoy that visit quite a lot. The second one I bought, I'm going to try it now in my Stanwell uh, Anna Julie. So also an, a nice uh, big one, and. Uh, So this is the Balkan blend. Um, you can see the the Balkan blend. Sneaky of me, isn't it? Right. So in this one, the the ori Oriental spiciness is is more uh, prominent in the Balkan blend. Uh, definitely not the fruitiness that I that I smelled in the special more um, more more leathery oriental spiciness um, let's see yeah moldy spiciness but but faintly and uh, what's interesting about about these two is although they are uh, both um, uh, classified as English and Balkan, the Latakia is is very very subtle. Uh, it's there, but it's very subtle. So th those of you who who doesn't like Latakia that much will enjoy these blends um, a lot because it's there, uh, but definitely not overpowering um, and and very subtle. Yes, summer is coming, so our, my uh, exotic bird is uh, announcing summer and uh, spring is uh, tomorrow, is the 1st of September, which is the uh, spring day with us. Oh, I should uh, prevent that, shouldn't I? <laughs> so let's try again. <laughs> 
Right, so... Yes, so here you can definitely taste a bit different than the, than the FB special, which is supposed to be the English blend. Um, less sweet, definitely oriental spiciness that you can, that comes through here, probably some perique that's in here. But very well balanced and nothing, nothing overpowering. It's not as, as if you, as if you taste and immediately, oh yes, uh, Latakia or Virginia or Burley or, you know, Perique. Nothing. It's a very, very uh, smooth, well balanced uh, tobacco. And as I said, a little bit le less sweety, which gives you that uh, that more oriental flavor. But less sweety, but there is a, a, a sweet note coming through, which is satisfying because you you don't you know you kind of think it is not there, and then you think no, but that you know that it is there. There's a there's a, smoke, a, a, a slightly sweetness which is in there, which uh, again is very, very satisfying. Medium strength, uh, pleasant room note, uh, and uh, yeah, so friends, and uh, YouTube community, pipe smokers. If you if you really if you visit South Africa and you go to Cape Town, which you probably will do, please go and buy yourself uh, these two tobaccos. If you like uh, English and Balkan blends, they are they are very very good at a fraction of a price of uh, of international tobaccos. That's one of the good things about South Africa is our tobacco, our local tobaccos are really good priced. For example, I paid for for a 50 gram, which I think is about two ounces. I paid for that, um, I think it's four, four or five dollars, somewhere there. Which, I mean, that is, that is excellent. Um, it's, it's about half the price of any of the others. So, go to go to this tobacconist you'll enjoy his shop you'll enjoy his his, uh, his uh, chatting and his tobacco and um, yeah so the two blends FB special and Balkan There is that sweetness coming through again. I also bought the a, a, a Turkish tobacco, which I I'm going to use in my blends, which I'm very happy about because again I couldn't find any any other type of of tobacco. You know, all the other shops that I went was their blends or the distributors' blends, and that's it. So at least here I could find Latakia and and other blends, which is very nice. So. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't get there that much, but I'm, I'll make a plan to make sure that I can, I can get these tobaccos uh, more often. So friends, on that note, uh, just a, a quick comparison between two, uh, two Balkan English blends that I bought in Cape Town, which make, made me a happy man this week, because for the first time again, after many, many tries, I got a tobacconist, which I enjoyed. And um, yeah. On that note, I'm going to switch off and say goodbye. Subscribe and come back and uh, leave comments. And I'm going to enjoy these two bowls now uh, to the end. Um, and uh, I'll see you later with some more reviews and some more, some more, some more news. 
Uh, thank you for watching and uh, and bye bye.